I am somebody that believes that love is meant to be simple and like it's meant to be fun and light and like not complicated, not burdensome or tiring or painful or terrifying or anything like that. And society has such a huge stigma around love in that it likes to place love into categories based on like, I don't know, there's just so much of an emphasis on romantic love. But like all love is romantic love, you know, like all love is, all love is good love. It's just when it starts being other things like possessiveness or jealousy or things like that then it's not love anymore it's something else it's like the lower natures of the human existence um but there's so much of a stigma around like needing to place your love in categorical boxes like in regards to romantic love platonic love sexuality gender like all these things and it's not necessary at all in fact when you do that when you like attempt to label yourself in so many different ways you get confused because you're you're everything you know like you are anybody you want to be at any given moment and i understand how category categorizing yourself is helpful but it's also very splitting if you put, put yourself in a box like you become cut off from the vast limitlessness that you are you're very unlimited you don't need to like limit yourself by putting yourself in a category or a box and again there's such a huge emphasis in society on romantic love but the thing that society doesn't realize is that we get our love from god from our creator this doesn't have anything to do with religion by the way the word god has been associated with indoctrinated religion for millennia and it's a problem because god is simply source consciousness and we should remember that our relationship with self capital s that source source consciousness god is like the first relationship we have and the last one we have because it's the only one that stays with us birth after birth regardless of what body we take. So it's important to not put such a huge emphasis on romantic love and things like, um, things like possessiveness or jealousy or um, even like betrayal in some circumstances. Like we've just prioritized our pain way too much instead of prioritizing why we feel the pain that we feel. If we actually got serious about finding the roots of our pain, we would dig and dig and dig until we clearly saw our soul. And when you clearly see your soul, you realize that like really you're not your preferences, you're not your jealousy, you're not your unhealed traumas, you're not your relationship, you're not your need or dis or you know, or lack thereof of a relationship you see what i'm saying you're already whole you're already perfect you are perfection personified because you are the child of the personification of perfection which is god so human beings like human beings have have watered down what love is and they've watered it down into commercialized holidays like valentine's day or excuses for you know for something that is just really surface level, like excuses for needing to show love, you know? There, there should be no excuse. Like we are, our nature is love. Our nature is to love. We are allowed to love at all moments without reason. You know, we are allowed to forgive without reason, you know? And if you're watching this right now and if there's someone in your life you haven't forgiven, you know, think of it as like you're not forgiving an aspect of yourself you're not forgiving the aspect of yourself that attracted that relationship or person into your life you know 
and I say this all the time like to people that I coach my clients and stuff that it's important that we let ourselves and other people off the hook um, because that is acting in resonance of the truth of who we are that is giving reverence or ode or respect to the unconditional love energy that we are truly made of and if you're harboring any sort of resentment or anger or even fear which is like the opposite of love right um to any person or situation or what have you that just means that you haven't seen your soul clearly in that circumstance yet you haven't seen yourself clearly the way source sees you in that circumstance yet and you can if you if you just look at the situation from a different eye from a different perspective you can see it differently um and people who harbor lots and lots of anger or hate or what have you have to understand that this just comes from pain. It just comes from unhealed pain. And you don't deserve to feel that way. You deserve to heal your pain and you are actually the only one that can do that. No one can do that for you. So um, because all these negative emotions stem from pain, you know, the, the true pain is not seeing who you are clearly in every moment and sometimes you've been so blinded uh, to the truth of who you are that you really have forgotten that you are limitless source energy that you are a part and parcel of source consciousness that you are pure that you are a child that you are innocent that you are loved and loving and people don't know that and so they harbor hate and anger and it manifests in their body as illness instead of wellness. And it hurts them. And I don't want people to be hurt because I've been hurt and I know how that feels on many levels. And I know very clearly that hurt just stems from pain. Pain of not seeing the truth of who you are in certain circumstances within your life. So... You deserve to see yourself clearly with a clear eye. You deserve to feel love. Don't be afraid to feel love for yourself because you'll see yourself and other people. You'll see that the only thing separating you from your neighbor or your best friend or your dog is a corporal body. And the body means nothing. Today I have acne, tomorrow I won't have acne. You see what I'm saying? Um, today I'm a certain age and in a few years I'm not gonna look the same you know it doesn't matter um, what matters is within and the within actually affects the outer body but when you when you look within and when you find yourself clearly you see that there is no separation between the within within you and the within within someone else it's the same within it's the same thing it's the soul so if people knew this, they would let themselves off the hook. They would let each other off the hook. They would release illness and accept wellness. They would release unnecessary burdens and traumas often imposed upon them by society or other people around them. And they would accept the conceptualization of their own limitless expansion. They would accept the idea that they are infinite and I want people to accept that idea so they can start to tap into the genius that is within them and start giving the world the gifts that they have because we all do have gifts not only do we have gifts we are a gift each and every one of us is a gift to the world around us at an, any given moment we are a vibrational gift you have to understand that that's why you know, um, you need to understand that. You know, that's that's why if you did understand that, you wouldn't be ever tempted to fall into deep depressions without reason. You wouldn't be tempted to trigger warning, have suicidal ideations, and the rates of suicide around the world would decrease drastically because people would be awakened to who they are. 
this is a very broad solution to very, very complicated problems that people have. But people have to realize and understand that as complicated as their problems are, the solution doesn't have to be complicated. The solution can be very simple. The solution can just be accepting the fact that you are in the school of life, in a human body to learn and grow, and that you are the blessing. You are the gift you have been looking for. You are the love you have been looking for. And your connection with source energy will only further prove that. You know, as you develop your, your connection with God further, this will only be more and more apparent to you how divine you are, how powerful you are, and that your only power, your true power, is love. You know, money and, and fame and all these things are what people think are power, but they're not, they're bondage. True power is freedom, and the highest level of freedom is unconditional love. That's what power is. You think God is not the most omnipotent? God is the most powerful because he is the epitome, the personification of unconditional love. So I hope this video helped you. Let me know if it did in the comments below. Love you so much, and I'll talk to you in the next video.